First open back in 2012. We're live inside the cavernous Marlins Park in Miami. Tonight, it's an NL Eastern Division showdown between the Washington Nationals and the Miami Marlins. Major League Baseball on the show starts now. Pablo Lopez will be on the bump for game two of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, you can tell by this strikeout to walk ratio, two to one, that this guy is more a pitch to contact guy than a strikeout walk guy. Digging in now, Trey Turner, and we are set for baseball Leading here this evening. For Washington, the shortstop, Trey Turner. First pitch of the at bat. In there for strike one. Guys, this Marlins ball club as they begin play here tonight. They did get the win last time out, but it hasn't been the best First week pitch. for them as they've won just twice in their last six tries. Yeah, Maddie, this place is buzzing right now. This team won the opener of the series yesterday, and they're looking to step on this team's throat and take the first two games of this series. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's 1 and 2. Starting to cool down a bit, but still 84 degrees as we start play tonight. The 1 2. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. A moment now to take a look at the visiting Washington Nationals. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, Brian Dozier is a guy that's working through some things these days. He went 0 for 3 last game. No big deal. Only three ABs. But it was the way in which he looked going about those ABs. He didn't have a good look to him at all. We'll see if he can bounce back in this one. Striding in now for the Nats, Adam Eaton, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. In his career, Eaton carries a hitting line just over the 280 plateau. Now the 1 0. He is looked at for the first strike. That's a tough pitch right there. Curveball kind of front hit. Your first move is to bail a little bit and kind of not want to get hit by that pitch. I can totally understand him taking that first strike. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Balls and strikes belong to Mr. Jerry Hillsdale. You know, Dero, I think Jerry Hillsdale is a very good hitter's umpire. Doesn't give much on the edges. He's going to make you put the ball over the plate. Oh, I love me some Jerry Hillsdale. You have to come over those 17 inches. He ain't giving you anything on the outside corner, and that's the way it should be. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Line towards center field. Birdie is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Batting third, the third baseman, number six, Anthony Rendon. In now for Washington, Anthony Rendon, and he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. First delivery to him on the way. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. The windup and the 0 1. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Just starting things out here in South Florida. Ground ball right side. And that is through into right field for a single. Hey, there's a nice knock by the three hole hitter. I know there's two that outs, but they always say with your man coming up, the number four hole monster, as soon as he steps in the batter's box, there's a runner in scoring position.
Juan Soto to the plate now. Curveball bounces, and this one gets away. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away, as that'll be scored a wild pitch. Well, this inning was looking routine, and then with one base hit and a wild pitch later, things are looking a lot different. Now a base hit scores a run, got to reset on the mound and make some good pitches here. Here's the 1 0. Ball two now. When hitters are able to lay off curveballs and get themselves into good counts because of it, you're in pretty big trouble as a pitcher. A lot of guys rely on their opponents offering at that pitch, even when it's not in a good location to hit. 3 and 0 oh now. Yeah, it looked like he was going to cruise through this inning, but now a hit, the 3 0 -oh count have changed that. Got to get back in the strike zone right here. Here's the 3 0. Left side, but well fouled. That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in the wheelhouse and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. Here's the 3 1. Can't keep that one fair either, and now the count is full. Rendon stands at second with two gone. Drill down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but it gets by the glove down the line. And the run will score as the Nats are off to a 1 0 lead. Hey, that's a that big is. RBI single right the there, D Row. They lost the first that game of this series, and they certainly Adam. don't want to fall behind and may potentially lose the first two games of this set. Without question, Dan. Offensively, you're just trying to grind it out, give your team a chance, give the pitcher a chance to relax a little bit, even the series up, hopefully, and fight it out tomorrow. Here's Matt Adams now and it's fouled away. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Nope. One and one. That one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0 and 2 and 1 and 1. But now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at bat. The 1 1. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The 1 2 is taken for ball two. Next pitch will be number 24 in this long first inning. Here's one that misses inside and the counts run full now three and two. Well this has been a good at bat. He's now worked to count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. Hit hard towards center. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. Not in time and he's in there with a double. They'll extend their lead here as the runner scores from first. I guess their scouting reports on this guy were dead on because it's already two nothing in the early going and they're having absolutely no trouble seeing him here on the other side. They're very quickly looking at a game that they're going to have to fight back in. Here's Brian Dozier now as he'll take one up in the zone but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. I think this inning could have far reaching effects in this game. They're really making him work and unless he dials it in it's probably going to limit how deep he goes into this game. Oh and one count and the pitch and he fouls this one off. Hey he looked like he was a little bit out in front on that breaking ball right there. The body can go a little bit if he was able to keep swing and a miss that retires the side and that will do it. So it's two runs on three hits no errors and a runner left on on now to the bottom of inning number one. It's the Nationals two and the Marlins nothing. Anibal Sanchez is on the mound for game two. What's your take on him Dan. 
Hey, this guy on the bump sitting on 99 career wins. So you know right now while he's taking his warm-ups, he's thinking about one thing. I need one more win to get to that Magic Century 100. That's a pretty big feather that you'll be able to put in your cap, and we'll see how he does in this one here today. Stepping Leading into the box, the John Birdie. It lead things off fielder. here in the bottom half of the John. first. Birdie. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. So guys these Nationals as they interplay here tonight they've been on the skids recently losers in seven of their last nine ball games. Yeah guys dropping yesterday was a heartbreaker without question. But you know what you find a way you show up to the yard today you get out of the cab and you watch countless hours of video and you try and formulate a game plan to get this back to 500 one and one to start the road trip and you're moving in the right direction. Helping him out here as he swings and misses to fall behind a ball and two strikes. And he lays off the fastball away, so it's two and two now. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. Time now for a glance at the Marlins lineup card in this one. Danny, who stands out to you? Look, everybody should be looking at the guy in the three spot. He was the catalyst for this ball club last month. He had an on-base percentage of over 400. And when you're doing that, you're really helping your team. Stepping up now, Brian Anderson. And you can see his home road splits there. He has not fared very well in front of the home crowd, oddly enough. First pitch of the at-bat. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. And he misses low with it, 2-0. and Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. And there's a swing and a miss, 2-1 and one now. Bases are empty, one man out. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. And he missed with that one. It's ball four. A one out walk here in the home first. Batting third. The first baseman. Steve. Here's Steve Pierce now. Pierce. As you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. First pitch coming now from Sanchez. A called strike to the 35 year old veteran. Nothing in one. Hey, I'm a little shocked right there. Double play situation. He doesn't go with the sinker, he goes with the ordinary fastball in that situation. Comes set and the 0 1. Line drive to left. Soto is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Well, he hit that ball Batting pretty ball. well, but the only problem the was that he pulled off Forehead. it just a bit. The oh, location Barlow. was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. In now, Jorge Alfaro, as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. Here comes the 1 0. In the dirt here. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch.
the 2 0 on the way. The count now at 2 and 1. Anderson at second with two down. Alfaro in front, three balls and a strike. High in the air out to center field. Eaton is under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and one man left on. Second inning coming up here in South Florida. The Nationals lead it two to nothing. So striding forward now, Kurt Suzuki. He'll get us started in the top of the second. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Turned on down the line, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Suzuki is unlike many of today's hitters in the sense that he doesn't have a lot of swing and miss in his approach at the plate. More often than not, he gets contact, and I'm sure that makes him a frustrating hitter to face from a pitcher's standpoint. You know, he takes his chances when he has count leverage. Without question, 1-0, 2-0, you'll see this guy try and get nasty a little bit, but he stays within himself, he knows what his strengths are, and he tries to drive the ball right back where it came from. And even 2-2 count to the Nationals catcher. The 2 2. Just off the end of the bat, it's a foul ball and he'll stick around. Ready with another 2 2. A bouncer up the middle. Throw to first to be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Check out the Miami Marlins on defense. And guys, one thing I want you to focus on today when you look at this team on the defensive side of the ball, they're in the top five in fielding percentage. They go about their business a certain way. They make all the routine plays, mix in a few flashy ones, and day after day, they give their pitchers the best chance to be successful. So stepping in, Howie Kendrick, and he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. Kendrick waiting, now the pitch. Fastball too high to start him out here. One and zero. One out, nobody on. A ball and a strike. One and one. That pitch up in the zone called the strike, and that's a tough pitch for a batter to hit, though. That fastball that's high in the zone. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. There's a called strike on a changeup. Not a particularly good one. That changeup up in the zone like this oftentimes gets hit very hard. Was able to get away with it that time, but if he's going to be successful, he's going to need to get that changeup down in the zone around the knees. Over to the first baseman, Pierce, and there are two gone now. Batting done. The pitcher. Stepping 19. in, Anibal Sanchez. Anibal. He'll get to take his first Sanchez. cuts here. Here it comes. To the left side, but it's well foul. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. This one's flared off to the right side. Hernandez has it in his sights. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Three up, three down for Washington. They're up two to nothing. And next to the plate will be J.T. Riddle. Lifetime against Donovan Sanchez. He's over five. JT. First pitch on its way. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. Good pitch there on the inside. Black called the strike. Get the chainsaw out today, boys. If he's going to throw back-to-back -back cutters like that, 
we are going to have some guys getting some wood blown up in their hands. Too much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. Well, it's two and one now, and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet. As a hitter, you've probably got to sit on that right now. And it's an even count of two and two to JT Riddle. Two and two. Breaking ball well inside and taken for ball three. He walked the guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. Hard hit ball to second, and this will get through in the right, and he's aboard with a single. A nice leadoff single to start the second right there. They're already Thank down. You. They got to find a way That's to stay on stop. the attack and get back Big in this game. We'll see how they play it here. Oh. Up next for Miami, Miguel Rojas. And he's looking to turn things around. Ice cold at the plate in recent action. First offering on its way. No balls in one strike. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And that'll get over the wall, so the runner will have to hold up at third. That is better. The bat, it looked like that might bring their first run of the game across. But those hopes okay. ended quickly when it hopped over the wall. Everyone gets two bases on a ground rule double, so the runner from first is forced to stay at third, and the next guy is going to have to be the one to put them on the board. Into the box now, Gorky's Hernandez. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low, it's ball one. And he's got an opportunity to drive in a pair, perhaps even it up here in the early going. The 1 0 home gets him to chase a ball out of the zone for the first strike. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Turner loves it. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. A simple ground ball to the infield, but the run does come home from third, and they cut their deficit to only one run. Riding into the box, Tony Kemp, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. He's set, here it comes. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Rojas takes his lead at third with one away. It's one and one to Tony Kemp. Toward second, scooped up on the backhand. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile the runner is in to score. Batting up. Good job Number there two. to put the ball on the ground Number and pick 49. up the tying run. This one has the makings of being a close game until the very end. Stepping in now. Pablo Lopez as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Let's go. Wait for the pitch. 
the 1 0 home. He is taken strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Mine to the right side. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. The fielder, and time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. Digging in to try it again. John Birdie, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Oh. The fastball here is you'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Well, he's been laboring a bit through these first two innings of work. That's 37 pitches. And ideally, he'd be closer to 27 instead. The 1-0. Oh. Up top, it's 2-0. Well, you have to have a lot of confidence and composure to pitch effectively, and right now, I'm just not seeing it. He looks kind of rattled out there to me. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. And he misses again, ball three. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. And, ooh, might have thought it was high, but it's a strike three and two now. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. Yeah, and he might strike out for a second time right here. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Soto is in pursuit. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. The three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this. Back with Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, and starting out the inning, the exciting speedster Trey Turner. First pitch of the at bat. Line to the right side. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. Around second now and headed for third. And he'll make it into third base with a leadoff triple. And that's his second the triple of the season. For two. some hitters, that's a Adam. career. Good swing and great hustle to pick up the three bagger. In now is Adam Eaton as he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. The 0 1 pitch just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Runner at third here, nobody out. Curveball bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. This one's down to third. 
throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Really good job of putting the ball in play right there. Even though it wasn't a base hit, it does bring the go-ahead run for his team. So one away here with the bases empty, and the next hitter will be the right-handed bat of Anthony Rendon. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. And this one's over for a high strike, one and one. Faces are empty, one man out. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Waiting on it is Kemp. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now batter. The so now hitter. it'll be the four hole hitter, Juan Soto, looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. 50th pitch of the game on its way. This is line to left. Kemp is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So one run here on one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. Nationals on top, three to two. Welcome back as the Marlins look to get the offense going in the third and this is a lineup that it's had its struggles this season entering the day they rank near the bottom of the league in batting average on base percentage and slugging so it's clear this is a work in progress one player told me before the game it's a difficult thing to go through we're all competitive guys and we believe in ourselves but we're obviously not getting the results we need. Now, one coach told me that despite the numbers being what they are, he's seeing a lot of development happening. So he's optimistic about what the future holds, especially for some of their younger players. Back to you, Matt. Good stuff, buddy. Thanks. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. This is flared out towards second. Throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. The first base the first so the base ball. is empty here with one Eight. away. And that will bring in the outfielder Eight. who's played for every AL Eastern Division club in his career, Steve Pierce. Oh. A ball and no strikes. Ball one, no strikes. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now, 2 0. Oh. The 2-0 on the way. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Now the 2-1 is laid off of for ball number three. One out, nobody on. Hit softly down the line at first. But this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. Now the three and two pitch. And another foul ball. And a splitter swung on and missed that time, and that'll be out number two. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two strike approach either. Standing in now, Jorge Alfaro. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. 0 for 1 here in the early going. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's 1 and 1. A little indecisive with that swing as he waves through it. Thought this middle of the order might give him a fight and put up a little bit of resistance, but that hasn't been the case. He's carving right through them here. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. 
Miami down in order. They trail three to two. Welcome back to Miami as we check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Nationals manager Dave Martinez between innings, specifically about his club's offense to this point. And he was very pleased with how little they're swinging and missing right now. Looking at the advanced data, our researchers found that about 9 of 10 swings are resulting in some sort of contact today, which is well above Major League average. The result has been a lot of balls in play, a lot of hits, and solid run production, guys. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Leading off for Washington. The Stepping in, Matt Adams. Matt. He'll try to follow Adams. up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. And he's got to build off that last AB. He battled. Usually, when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Behind 0 and 2 now. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Nope. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. I love a well executed changeup, especially one down in the zone. The only problem throwing it in that situation, you leave that belt high or miss your spot just a hair, and you could have some problems. Two balls and two strikes now. All even at two and two. Here it is. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Might have been cheating for another fastball trying to get the head to that one early. Pitcher pulled the string with a nasty breaking ball and had him a little bit out in front. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And this will be pulled in just in front of the warning track for the first out. Good time now to check out the Marlins road to the show report as you see a couple of players in the upper levels of the minors that have been making waves as of late. Digging in for his second at bat Brian Dozier comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. We're in the fourth. Three to two is our score. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. It's not that easy to make a the good hitter look that bad but that's what happens Kurt. when you can bring that fastball mm -hmm. and ride it in on the inner half of the plate right there. You can get some pretty ugly swings. In now Kurt Suzuki. As he'll take a look at an off speed pitch here that misses for ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. That's a good approach when you're facing a young arm you might not be too familiar with. Take a look at a few and see what he's got. Now he's got himself ahead in the count. The 2 0. Finds the zone, strike one. Love the pitch call there. 2 0. You know, the guy's geared up for a fastball, and you drop a changeup in the zone. That's going to be a tough pitch to handle. Just it's off the right inside right. part of the plate, it's three and one. He's been throwing strikes all day, so you're not up at the plate thinking he's going to walk you in this situation. You need to be aggressive and sit hard at the plate. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. Mine to the right side. And that is in there for a two-out base knock. 
kind of looked like he had gotten his bearings there. Dan was going to have a one, two, now three that, inning, but not right the Gilbert. case, giving up that late Howie. two out knock. Boy, well, this lineup is so deep, one through nine. They could put a hurting on you, and they're making him work, and he's given up a lot of base hits so far in this one. So far, this has not been an easy one for this pitcher. Here's Howie Kendrick. Hard hit to the left side, but taken in out there at short. Needed just a little more height on that one, but instead, the inning is over. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth, but before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Matt, during the commercial break, I had a chance to catch up with manager Don Mattingly about the Marlins' offensive production, and flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already, and he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Now with the play, J.T. Riddle. He reached on a single in his first try. The second baseman. Riddle. First pitch coming, here it is. Fastball over the outside, but in there for a strike. Now the Nats are going to get a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. The wind-up and the 0-1. Hard stuff on the corner, and he's got him 0-2 now. Pretty unusual that you see a 5 hole hitter take two strikes in a row. Typically, those are some of the most aggressive batters in the lineup. Skied into straightaway right. Kendrick moves over, makes the play, one away. Stepping up to the plate, Miguel Rojas. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. First pitch coming now from Sanchez. And this is low, ball one. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. The 1 1. Line towards center field. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. So a ringing single here to center field makes it two hits for him on the night. And as we show you the Marlins leaders in that category, you can see his total is good for third best on the ball club. So one gone in the inning here with a runner at first. And that'll bring in the speedy Gorky's Hernandez. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And good movement on the fastball there from Sanchez as he jumps ahead with strike one. And a good job to lay off the fastball there close, but it's one and one. Two and one. And the 2 1. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Adams camps under it, and he's got it for route number two. The no Into the box, Tony oh, Kemp. He's 0 for 1 after grounding yeah. out in his only trip to the plate so far. Sanchez pauses. Here's the first pitch. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. From the belt, the pitch. And smart to lay off there as the fastball misses. It's one and two now. Basic pitching right there. 0-2 fastball up and out of the zone. 
change the eye level. Now time to go to that curveball down and away. Still one and two as he fouls it away. He'll try again one two. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. Sanchez coming up on pitch number 71 so far. Another one two delivery down the first baseline. The one two misses for the second ball. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And he chased it in the dirt. And the throw to first ends the inning. One hit, one left. We've played four full. It's the Nationals three and the Marlins two. Your attention, please. Pitch it for Washington. Number one, Wilmer Defoe. And oh, looked inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. The average for him sitting at 312 on the season. Two home runs and 15 RBIs. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. Stands just shy of six feet at 5'11 and bats from both sides of the plate. He's a five year vet at the major league level. Here's the one and two delivery. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Into the corner and slicing foul. And it's a full count to Defoe now. Three balls and two strikes. These are the kind of A.B.'s regardless of the outcome. You go back to the dugout as an offensive player and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. Line drive to left. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. So there'll be a man aboard here to start out their half of the fifth. Dan how frustrating that must be the eight bat. pitch at bat and he's able to work a base hit Pedro, he threw everything but the kitchen sink at him he threw off speed pitches fastballs and on the eighth pitch left one out over the plate just enough for a base hit the speedy Trey Turner digs in now as the first pitch misses to him it's ball one he's working on a one for two game so far. The 1 0 is laid off, but in there for strike one. One and one. Two and one, the count to Trey Turner. Fifth inning of play here in a 3 2 ball game. And a big swing and a miss here, two strikes. Here now the 2 2 started to go did he hold up in time yes says the first base umpire it's ball three now high and deep to right Hernandez going back on it to the track on the warning track he makes the catch. So digging in now, now Adam Eaton. He's 0 for 2 in the Adam ball game so far. Eaton. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. And now the Marlins bullpen will swing into action as a lefty and a right-hander start to get loose. 
Defoe, base runner at first with one out. Throw over to first. Great. One zero count. Here it is, and he won't bite at that one either. It's two and zero. This is a spot right here, playing first base. You have to really be on your toes runner! with a runner on first, a left-handed hitter up on a two-zero count. There's a pretty good chance if he and he's in the second safely with a stolen base. So he's in safely there, following the one-out steal of second. And with that, we take you to our team leaderboard to display the clubs with the most stolen bases so far this year. And we can see that the Nationals are currently right on top of the NL in that department. Now the 2-1 is in there for the second strike. Runner at second here with one man out. Fouled away. The 2-2 one more time. Count remains 2-2. Two and two. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Smoked on the ground up the middle. The throw will go to third, and he'll be tagged out at third base on a heady play. The third baseman, number six, Anthony Rendell. So a runner at first with two away, and the next hitter will be the right-handed bat of Anthony Rendon. First pitch on its way. This ball will be chopped foul. Three runs, six hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. And he misses with it one and one. Line drive to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Nationals leave one, but they still lead it three to two. Matt Grace, the 6'4 southpaw, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Number 33, Matt Grace. Neil Walker will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Neil Walker. Now here's a slider that can't quite get back to the outside corner. It's ball one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. That misses two and zero. Oh. Now the two zero -oh. fouled off. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Great situation right here, leading off the inning. You gotta find a way to get on base any way possible. But I don't like to take the aggression away from hitters. If it's in your zone, I want you swinging. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Kendrick is under it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now battle. Ready the once again, field. John Birdie. John. It was a flyout for him in his last Birdie. trip. And with his speed, he's one of those rare guys who you'd actually like to see keep the ball on the ground. You can't beat out a fly ball in this game. First pitch coming, here it is. Here's a slider to start things out, but it misses by a few inches or so. It's ball one. Here comes the 1-0. 
Looked like the sinker there dipped a little below the knees. The 2-0 on the way. Down low, and the plot thickens here. 3-0. and That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. Here it is, the 3-0. It's the bottom of the zone for a strike. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. He's set. Here's the three and two. Rendon down to third. Another full count offering on its way. Swing and a miss, and they come back from a 3 0 count to sit him down on strikes, and there are two gone. Boy, that's really disappointing now for pass. a guy that has wheels, Stop right? All he wants to do oh, is yeah. get on base and take advantage and of the strength there. of his game, which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. Into the box, Brian Anderson as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. He was a ground out victim last time up. Ball one. And he watches one dip low and inside for a ball one and one. Well, that's a great take there right there on that slider down and in. That's one of the toughest pitches to lay off of as a hitter. That hard breaking ball coming down and in at the back foot. A tough take on a good pitch. At strike two on a well-placed changeup around the knees. The one-two. Misses ball two. Two strikes. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. With the meat of the order due up next, you could probably expect to see something you can handle here with the full count as the two hole hitter. Now the three and two pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that is through into center field, a base hit. So he's aboard here on the two out single but overall this is one of the weaker now, offensive ball clubs around at least in terms of team Eight. batting average and you can Eight. see the bad news right there they rank dead last among the 15 National League teams in that category. So we're runner at first here with two gone in the inning and that'll bring in the outfielder who's played for every AL Eastern Division club in his career Steve Pierce. First pitch on its way. The bouncer to the left side. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Yeah, and with two outs, the pitcher was mentally in the dugout already. Now he's got to regroup and find a way to get out of this. Hard not to feel for the guy. Into the box now, Jorge Alfaro, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. No hits to this point. <laughs> Left side, oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. But the recovery will come too late, and the bases are loaded now. Now's a good time for your pitcher now to take a deep breath. He the still has the lead, although it probably three. doesn't feel like it. So he can't worry about how he got into this mess. He just has to figure out how to get out of this mess. 
Ready now, JT Riddle. One of the bigger spots in the ball game so far. Base is juiced now with two away. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Ball one. So far this year against Southpaws, Riddle is a batting line residing in the 230s. Matty, he struggled this season against left-handed pitching, but maybe a little shot of confidence with the manager putting him in the lineup today. Comes at him with the slider there, and he gets the strike. Both teams with six hits so far. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Well, when the pressure starts to intensify, it often feels like the strike zone gets harder and harder to hit. This is a big spot here. Back up the middle. Dozier has it on the second for the force out, and the side is retired. Marlins leave all three. They're down three to two. Zach Duke please. will come on now as he'll now be appearing in his 45th game this year. Number 32. Zach Duke. At the plate, Juan Soto. He lined out Leading in his last trip, so looking for the better fortunes one. here. Yeah, pretty unlucky right Soto. there, Matty. Squared up a fastball nicely, and that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the heater, and he's prepared for this next A.B. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Grounded foul. And it's fouled away. And he missed with it. It's one and two. Here's the one and two. And that misses two and two. Here now the two two. Is swung on and missed. He got him. Well, I'm glad we get another look now at that beauty of a pitch the right there. Basement. You can't Matt. spot a sinker Adam. in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you can do with that textbook sinker. Standing in now, Matt Adams, as he'll take a look at ball one. He's one for two in this one. will take care of him at first. Good start to the inning for Duke, and that's out number two. Now Digging in once again, Brian Dozier. Oh. Lifetime numbers Dozier. against Zach Duke. He's a perfect two for two. From the stretch. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right hander is up and throwing. Three twos are scored here in inning number six. Yeah. Bold strike 0 and 2. Don't just assume as a hitter right here he won't triple up. He's got you down 0 2 and he might really want to get inside your head if he throws the same pitch again. Let's go, 
looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0-2, but he holds back. It's 1-2 and two now. One two is a breaking ball that's taken for a ball. He's got him on the ropes at two and two, but I don't think he'll try to get him out with another curveball. He's seen it already a couple of times, so it's not going to surprise him anymore. He's set. Here's the two two. Hit back up the middle. On to Pierce at first, and the inning is over. Nationals gone in order. And it remains a 3-2 ball game. Settling in now, Miguel Rojas. He'll lead it off as we start the home sixth. Miguel Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. This is foul right side. Here comes the 0 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. Action now in the Washington bullpen as a right-hander begins to get loose. One two. Count still at one and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Not trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. And this is hit hard to the right side, but foul. The 2 2 one more time. This is in the air to left. Soto giving chase. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. The right fielder digging in. Gorky's Hernandez. Third at bat in this one. He's bounced out and popped out in his two previous trips. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Nope. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball one and one. Hey, he caught him off guard right there. I like that pitch. High fastball executed. I know he's known for the sinker ball, but if he can get some eye levels up and down, he's going to have some success. And there's out number two. Now batting. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. Stepping in now the speedy Tony Kemp. On the screws to shortstop the caught to retire the side. One two three go the Marlins. Still a 3-2 ball game. Welcome back to South Florida. Nationals on top in this one as we get ready for the seventh. But first, let's check out the game summary to see how we got here. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here.
Tehran Guerrero is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Now pitching and batting in the seventh spot, number 56, Tyron Guerrero. Now playing right field and batting nine. Standing in, Kurt Suzuki. It was a single for him in his last at bat. Leading off for Washington, the catcher, number 28, Kurt Suzuki. First offering on its way. That finds the zone a called strike. Goodness. 0 oh 2 now. Hey, that's a really good pitch right there. And that's one of those off balance swings. As a pitcher, you want to look in and say, Howdy, if you're waving at me. A real ugly swing, and it gives you a lot of confidence when you make a guy look that bad. So hopefully he has another pitch left in his repertoire to bury this guy and get him out of there. And that'll get down for a base hit. So the leadoff hitter in the inning reaches safely for the Nationals. Now back, right fielder. Boy, this guy's been swinging a hot stick lately, and there's just another example. And even when he doesn't hit one on the barrel, he still manages another base hit. Yeah, don't overthink it. When you're flowing like he is right now, he's hot as a pistol. Everything's falling. In now, Howie Kendrick. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball, 1-0. Suzuki gets his lead at first nobody out. And he fouls this one off. He's going and there he goes towards second softly hit toward the hole. Field it cleanly, and he'll just step on first here to take the shoer out. Ryan Zimmerman will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Pinch hitting for the Nationals. Number 11, Ryan Zimmerman. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. This year against right handed pitching Zimmerman brings a batting average just a little over the 250 mark. Ready with the 1 0. Now a swing and he just fouls this one away. Zimmerman or just simply Zim is a 15 year major league vet so it's been quite the career for him. Here's the one and one delivery. Yank the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Well, that's a good pitch, but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer, you might get a swing. Pitch is mishandled behind the plate, and it bounces away. It's too late as he's in there. The 3 1. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Very tight ball game. 3 to 2 our score in inning number seven. Three, two, one more time. Is swung on and missed strike three. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive right. to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys.
stepping in now Trey Turner a swing and a shot hit down the corner and he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. Looking to keep this a one run game the pitch fastball that time is nowhere close and it's even at one and one three runs seven hits one error thus far for the Nationals pitch is popped up Alfaro over to his right and the inning is over one left for Washington they're up three to two Wander Suero gets the call now from the pen to take over on the mound and start the Number home 51. seven. Wander Suero. And that'll bring up Peter O'Brien. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Zip on that one as he just throws it by him for strike one. He's going to need to shorten up and get that foot down a little bit earlier if he hopes to be catching up to that fastball. A ball and two strikes now. The one two is outside for a ball. Fouled away. The two two one more time doesn't get the zone count full now. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. Another full count pitch on its way. Hit hard to the right. Foul. Payoff pitch one more time. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential time run here is aboard late in the game. Man, that's a tough one to swallow. You're hanging on to a slim lead. And the last thing you want to do is give up a leadoff walk. Seems like those are the ones that always come back to haunt you. So we'll see if that's the case here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he pops up the bunt attempt. Throw is too late, so the sacrifice attempt turns into a base hit. Yeah, the third baseman, Brian Anderson. Coming to the plate now, Brian Anderson, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First offering on its way and a bunt attempt here but this will be foul so the runners will stay put for now. Ready with the 0 1 showing bunt but he winds up taking ball one.
possible tying and go ahead runs on base nobody out. Got it back in time there and it's two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You can pretty much count on a pitcher. He's trying to get back in the strike zone. And with two guys on base right here, it's time to grip it and rip it. The 2-1 is going to be a sacrifice attempt as he gets it down. And the throw will come to first, so the sacrifice works as planned. You can't ask for anything more than that. The tying run moves here. over the third now with only one out. Here. So we'll see how the infield decides to play it here. Striding in, Steve Pierce. Been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first. So the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk. Now and the force Get play there. is now in order. So bases are loaded. Nowhere to put him with one away. And up next will be the big catcher, Jorge Alfaro. First pitch of the at bat started to go around there but he holds up ball one obviously a huge situation in the game here but at the plate he's got to keep it simple he can't try to do too much just because the bases are juiced at the very least just find a way to get that tying run home from third swing and a fly ball and this should at least get home the tying run the catch is made here comes the tying run from third and that lead disappears with it as this is now a 3-3 ball game. That was a that really was a good at bat right man. there. You're trying to Get tie it. this thing up any way that you can. Right he hits the sack fly to the outfield, and the tying run comes in to score. Standing in, JT Riddle. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. This is line to left. Soto is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Marlins forced to settle for one. Eighth inning coming up, and we are all tied at three apiece. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Austin Bryce has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do Miami. so to start the eighth. Now pitching and batting in the fourth spot, number 37, Austin. Digging in, Bryce. Adam Eaton. He now reached on a fielder's choice seven. previously. Number 21, Ken Kroger. First pitch coming, here it is. Fastball well outside. Two and I'm seeing him just a little too amped up out there right now. That's common with hard throwers like him. Running a blazing fastball up there is great, but if you can't harness it, what good does it do you? The 2 0 on the way. Lifted down the line and left. Coming in is Kemp, and they can't run it down. Now the 2 1 pitch is a changeup that's looked at for a ball. Three balls, one strike. And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. Yeah. 
And he lays nope. off ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. Man, when the game is tied, the last thing you the can afford to do is walk the leadoff hitter. Anthony. Gotta focus on getting that ground ball now. Now time is called, and we'll have a pinch runner at first, and that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go-ahead run. Victor Robles. In now is Anthony Rendon. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line-out. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Hit hard up the middle. Riddle has it to second for one on the first. And you can forget about the go-ahead run being on base. He's erased on the double play. The left nice job on the mound to bounce back from the leadoff block. Those are usually pretty costly, but that won't be the case this time after the two ball. Into the box now, Juan Soto. Nope, that's the ball. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. He's working on a one for three thus far. One and oh, here it is. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But a foul ball, one and one. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Oh, wow, that's what they call it. Jam sandwich. Wow, not much you can do with that pitch that's in tight. Way down and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Nothing doing for Washington. No change in the score. It's three to three. Your Victor Robles please. will stay in the ball this game as he takes over in center. Now playing center field. Number Cota 16. Glover is on to pitch Victor out of the bullpen in the bottom Robles. half of the eighth. Now pitching for Washington. Number 30, Cota Glover. Now at the plate, Miguel Rojas. Leading off. He's two for three and looking for more Not here. Stop. Miguel First pitch of the at bat. Hey. And a called strike down in the zone. Oh, Nothing in one. Great spot with that pitch down and away. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep hitting that spot. The 0 1 on its way. Behind 0 and 2 now. I know it's a guessing game but usually when you flip that coin it better come up fastball at this level you cannot be late right there that was right in the wheelhouse one not ball. a bad pitch there two with strikes. two strikes but it misses one and two Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Now for me, check swings are the right there next to bang yeah. bang place at first Broker. as the most difficult calls for an ump to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. Standing in now, Ken Kroger, as he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. The 1-1 is offered and missed. He chased it for strike two. 
I can't imagine he was sitting on fastball at his neck right there. He is going to have to lower his sights if he's going to have any chance. Hits are even at seven apiece. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Here now the 2 2. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Moving under it, Soto. And that's the second out of the inning. So two gone now in the Miami eighth, and striding toward the plate to hit next, Tony Kemp. First pitch coming, here it is. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. Not too often do you see a changeup come across at 88 miles an hour on the gun. Still effective when you're throwing a fastball in the high 90s, though. Behind 0 and 2 now. A pause and the 0 2. Inside and high with that one, one ball, two strikes. Oh, and they pull the string on a good changeup there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. Miami down in order, still tied three to three. Ready for another chance, Matt Adams. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Matt Adams. First offering on its way and right into the shift. But this is foul for the first strike. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. The 2-1 home it is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. A shot down the first baseline, but a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. Crowd gets up for the three-two. Fouled off. Shot toward right center. And this is going to get down for what should be extra bases. And there's your potential go-ahead run. And your go-ahead run is in at second base here with a leadoff double. Now you could tell he was thinking fastball base. all the way here. Oh, yeah. And that's exactly what he got. He was able to get the bat head out front and pull it into the gap in the right center. Now they're set up pretty nicely for a good inning after that leadoff double. Into the box, Brian Dozier, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. and a strike to Dozier. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with nobody out. Zero. To two and two now. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strike out here so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. Here's the two two pitch. 
Hits this one hard the other way. A dive and he knocks it down. And there is some stick to it of this as they still manage to get the out at first. What a play. Well, good fundamental 20. baseball might just Third. win him this ball game. They had the go-ahead run at second base, so this guy knows exactly what he has to do. Just a simple ground ball to the right side gets that guy to third. And now all sorts of ways to take the lead. Stepping in now, Kurt Suzuki, as he'll take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. Boy, this is a dicey situation right here, D, where what the runner in scoring position, the sack fly, brings that run in. This is where you're going to really have to try to keep the ball on the ground as a pitcher. What do you want to do as a hitter, D, Row? Yeah, right here, you are looking for anything above the belt. You see it up, you have to let it go. This is where you have to check your ego at the door. Something has to be elevated and put into the outfield. Give your team a chance to score a run. The one-and-one one pitch. And a pitch out. Perhaps they thought the squeeze would be on. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Waiting on deck is Howie Kendrick. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with one away. Swing and a fly ball. This ought to at least get the go ahead run in. The catch is made. Here comes the go ahead run for the plate. He's safe at the plate. And here in the ninth, they have taken the lead. Hey, putting together good at bats late in the games can really help out. And how about this sack fly right here? Good at bats that leads to his team getting the lead here in the late innings. Drew Steckenrider takes over now with two gone here in the top of inning number nine. Steckenrider. Now at the plate, Howie Kendrick. Bases empty and two gone following the sacrifice fly. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. One run game here in the top of the ninth. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Now the three and two pitch. Just hung in there on that one. The next three, two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. So it remains a one run lead as they head in for their final set of swings. So one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Nine, one, and two scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. Washington leads this one four to three. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Ladies Sean Doolittle enters the game to finish this one off here in the bottom of the night. Washington. Now pitching and batting in the eighth spot. Number 62, Sean Doolittle. Now playing right field. Now at the play, Peter O'Brien is career three. line with Doolittle. Michael Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. He's set and the pitch. 
well above the letters with the fastball that time. Doolittle is pretty much a manager's dream coming out of the bullpen. High strikeouts, doesn't walk a lot of batters, usually a recipe for a lot of success. Oh, that's one of the keys. I think if you were to build the perfect relief pitcher, you'd want a guy that throws a lot of strikes, that minimizes the base on balls, and nobody does it as good as this guy does right now in the game of baseball. The 1-1. One, one. Popped up. Adams calls for it. One out. So the lineup flips over and digging in. John Birdie. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. First pitch on its way. First pitch is a slider down low. It's 1 and 0. Oh. A bouncer up the middle. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Now battle. The Marlins down to their final out now. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Anderson. Brian Anderson. He's set. Here it comes. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball one and oh. Now the one oh is a fastball that misses. Two oh count the pitch grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. Two littles ready. Here's the 2 1. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Miami down to their last strike. And it's fouled away. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Yo, you don't want to get caught looking for the final out. That's a tough pitch to lay off. Impressive that he did. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential time run here is aboard late in the game. I know one thing. He number earned six, that number three pass three right there. He was tempted with some really good pitches, but he stayed Here. disciplined and drew the walk. Stepping into the box, Steve Pierce. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Here's the first pitch to him. In there at the letters 0 and 1. Wow, there's a pitch right there that this guy would like to have back. Very rarely do you see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle, and boy, he took that one. He'd like to have that one back and be able to take a good hack at that pitch. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Anderson leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. And he fouls this one off. Another 0-2 coming. And this one's in the dirt. Good job there as the count goes to 1-2. and two. Fouled away. Fans on their feet in a one run ball game in the last of the ninth. And he struck him out for out number three. So that'll wrap things up here as they leave the possible tying run stranded at first.
Well, that's just a great job of battling on the road. They fought all the way to the end, took the lead in the top of the ninth, and secured the W in the bottom half. That's a great team win. And it's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ball game. Washington came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Coda Glover wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. Sean Doolittle wraps it up for the save, his 23rd of the campaign. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Be special in your own way. If you work it hard.